Did you know that for every single person looking for information on climate change on Google, there's 164 people Googling for porn and 274 people looking for sex? That's a lot of people more interested in wanking than humanity's greatest challenge. What can be done? Well, sure, we could use your fascination for sex to find new ways to get you interested in your relationship to the environment. There's even an organization doing non-profit porn to save forests. Unfortunately, climate porn still only officially refers to the dramatic images of apocalypse, natural disasters and chaos that are used to get your attention on climate change. Ironically, these images make you scared and feel guilty, but make you feel helpless to do anything about it, which might explain why you'd rather go for porn. That's a shame, because there's a lot of positive solutions and ideas around climate change that could get you excited and make you feel like you can actually do something about it. But that's besides my point. Every December, the leaders of the world get together to decide what to do on climate change. And to be fair, it's often all talk, no show. But can we blame only them? If we go back to the Google graph, and if you could actually see the line on searches on climate change, you would see that in every December, while those important decisions are being taken, there's a steep decline in searching for climate change, which means that even the people who care stop paying attention. Why? I don't know. But in every December, there's a strong peak for searching for porn and sex. This December is the most important climate change meeting. And this time, if you're wanking and our leaders do nothing, we are literally going to get fucked. So however strong the urge, please stop wanking. Google climate change. Talk about it. Bug your politicians about the decisions they're about to make on your behalf. Make some noise or just send this to porn lovers. Maybe if we show that we care, they will too.